What do we think is next for Resident Evil? Honestly, we could go in so many different directions. We could get a remake of Resident Evil 5. We could get a remake of Resident Evil Code Veronica. We could go to Resident Evil 9. Personally, I think it is inevitable that we're going to get Resident Evil 9 at some point within the next few years because of the way that Resident Evil 8 ended off. I think, it, I think at the end of the game, it quite literally sets up Resident Evil 9. I predict that in the next one we'll be playing as Rose as an adult. But of course, Capcom are definitely not going to be finished with their remakes of the original Resident Evil games because we still have a few more to go. And it's going to be very interesting to see how they do it because Resident Evil 5 and 6 are usually considered the ones where the series started to go downhill or went downhill. While I enjoy Resident Evil 5 as its own thing, as a Resident Evil game I don't think it's very well suited to the title. As soon as you set a horror game in the daytime and have you be able to do co-op, you reduce a lot of what is scary. The simple fact of just having another person with you decreases the fear factor of a lot of things. And I do think that these Resident Evil remakes have been trying to make things a little bit scarier. Like, I still don't think that Resident Evil 4 Remake is a very scary game, but I do think that it was trying to capture the horror essence a little bit more than the original Resident Evil 4 did. I think that both the original Resident Evil 4 and the Resident Evil 4 Remake both capture the perfect blend between action and cheesy humour and the spooky scary horror side of things. Whereas with the original Resident Evil 5, that balance started to tip way more in the action than the horror segments. And then with Resident Evil 6, horror gone, action all the way up. And honestly, I'd be excited to see a Resident Evil 5 and 6 remake because I think it would be their opportunity to make things better. I think you could pretty much just do Resident Evil 5 in the same way they did Resident Evil 4 and have it be much improved. I'm not quite sure how they'd go about the whole co-op thing because that would throw a spanner in the works. It would be incredibly brave of them if they just said, you know what, no co-op. I think it'd be very interesting perhaps if they went the Resident Evil 2 route where you have an A and a B scenario where perhaps in scenario A you play as Chris and in B you play as Sheva. Sheva has been one of the most forgotten Resident Evil characters of all time. Maybe this is how they go about making her more of a significant character, giving her her own plotline. They would have to fabricate a lot of story from, from thin air because of the fact that in reality she just tags along throughout the entirety of the Resident Evil 5 campaign rather than doing her own thing. But for the most part, if we're real here, the playthroughs of Claire and Leon are almost identical in Resident Evil 2 anyway. It would just be a few minor things at different parts throughout the story that they would have to change if they went that, that, that route. Resident Evil 5 does hold a special place in my heart because it was one of the first games that I ever played online with another person back when my PlayStation 3 became capable of playing online. It was when we switched from dongle internet to like proper Wi-Fi. Some of you guys will be a bit too young to remember those days. And then if we get a remake of Resident Evil 6 in the future, then we can really fix things. All they've got to do is make Resident Evil 6 play like the Resident Evil 4 remake and just remake what's already there. And I think that would massively, massively fix the game. Again, Resident Evil 6 could be considered a fun game in its own right. But as a Resident Evil game, it just pales in comparison. And if I was going to play a standalone third person shooter like Resident Evil 6, I would just play something else. And then another option that we have is the Resident Evil Code Veronica remake. And that would be a very interesting one because Resident Evil Code Veronica is very much so a game that has kind of been forgotten to time. It's not, it's not a game that people talk about very frequently outside of like hardcore Resident Evil circles, which would probably mean that it would make less money than a Resident Evil 5 remake. And at the end of the day, a lot of business decisions in terms of where they're going to put resources into are prioritized based on what's going to make money. So I would not be surprised if they just completely just ignore Code Veronica. But if they really wanted to like please the fans, making a, a Code Veronica remake would be pretty cool. I played through it for the first time last year in a GameCube emulator and that was, it was a lot of fun. It plays very similarly to the original Resident Evil trilogy where it's fixed camera angles, but slightly less fixed because the camera can pan as you move. So it's sort of somewhere in between like traditional camera angles and fixed camera angles. But I think if they remade it in the same way they remade two and three, then it would be awesome. And it'd be more Claire. Leon has had his chance to do two games in the remake saga. Now Claire would get hers. Alternatively, we might just not do a remake for a while and just move straight onto Resident Evil 9. And my concern there is that perhaps they're going to do the same thing that the original trilogy did again, where as we go through this current trilogy, we go from horror, like pure horror with Resident Evil 7, to horror action with Resident Evil 8, to Resident Evil 9 being very similar to the way Resident Evil 6 was again, where it's primarily action, especially as 
with the way Resident Evil 8 ended. So I'm about to talk about some things that are potentially spoilers for Resident Evil 8. So if you don't want to hear that, then I would I would skip ahead or peace out or something like that. Just give me a second here. So what I'm about to say, you should only listen to if you either A, don't care, or B, know how Resident Evil 8 ends. Three, two, one. So at the end of Resident Evil 8, Ethan Winters, the protagonist of Resident Evil 7 and 8, he is dead. His daughter now is grown up and she seemingly has some sort of powers. She basically threatens a security guard saying, even that, that even that even Chris doesn't know what she's capable of. Now, if that means that she was going to be the protagonist of Resident Evil 9, which is where I think we're going with this, it would be difficult to have a protagonist that has powers and it still be in any way, shape or form a horror game because the second you empower a character, things inherently get less scary. That's why people think games like Amnesia, Outlast, Slenderman, games where you can't fight back are so scary because if you can fight back, then it's your own ability to be skillful that can determine how scary and how threatening what's in front of you is. And I do think that if they're going to give Rose powers and have her be the protagonist for Resident Evil 9, that the gameplay will inherently have to be more action oriented, even more so than Resident Evil 8. Because Resident Evil 8 was very much so like a, a spiritual successor to Resident Evil 4. We've got the merchant, we've got weapons that can be upgraded, we've got enemies that drop loot when you beat them. There is a distinct difference between the early Resident Evil games and Resident Evil 4 and 5 and 4 Remake and 8 in that in the first few games, you using your ammo is a punishment. It is a net loss. You are losing resources to make the area safer. That's how Resident Evil's 1 through 3 work. In Resident Evil 4 and 5, because of the fact that enemies that you can defeat can drop you resources, you are profiting, you are not losing from defeating them, so you are encouraged to fight them, which inherently encourages more action. And that's, again, what happened with Resident Evil 7 going into 8. Enemies being able to drop ammo and things that you can sell and things like that in Resident Evil 8 encourage action, encourage combat, and I can't see them going back. And I can only see them escalating it even further with whatever powers it is that Rose is going to have. Because I'd be very shocked if they went some different route where she's not the protagonist. Like, for example, it would be interesting. Maybe if Resident Evil 9 comes out and Rose is actually the antagonist. She's the bad guy because, again, she is, to some, in some aspect, infected with the mold and the whatever infection of the day it is at this point. Because there have been that many different effect infections in the Resident Evil universe that they must be walking around in padded suits and masks constantly but i think it's going to be a potentially cool game one day i just think that it's not going to be as horror filled as the previous games have been and it's the thing that capcom do so even with the original trilogy like if we talk about the original resident evil 1 2 and 3 1 was scarier than 2 2 was scarier than 3 and 3 was very action oriented like having nemesis follow you around with the ability to shoot a rocket launcher it's scary, but it's 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 still very action filled and you've got a lot more ammo and a lot more weapons. So even in the original trilogy, which is considered like the peak of survival horror, it gets more action filled and less horror filled as that trilogy went on. And then the same thing happened with Resident Evil 4, 5 and 6, where again, Resident Evil 4, decent balance of action and horror, 5, less horror, more action, 6, no horror, lots of action. And then we rebooted again with 7, 8 and 9, 7, lots of horror, some action, 8, decent balance. Is 9 going to do the same thing that 3 did, that 6 did? It's an interesting little saga that we've got with Resident Evil where you can break it down realistically into three trilogies. I think it's kind of cool. So let me know, what do you guys think is going to happen? What would you want to happen? Resident Evil 5 remake? Resident Evil Code Veronica remake? Or Resident Evil 9 remake? Let me know. Like the video, comment down below, and if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in a bit.